The most advanced land-based intercontinental missile that China is currently publicizing is the Dongfeng-41, a solid-fueled missile that is extremely mobile. But now that the Dongfeng-41 has formed combat capability, China is still in service with the Dongfeng-5B missile, which makes many people greatly puzzled. It is important to know that the Dongfeng-5 series of missiles, as more than 180 tons of liquid fuel missiles, cannot be flexible and mobile, and can even be said that its mobility is zero, but also need to have a set of specialized maintenance system to maintain it. The Dongfeng 5B missiles are therefore deployed in missile silos, and seem to be living targets in a nuclear war. So why does China continue to use the Dongfeng 5B missiles? First of all, there is the issue of battle loss ratio. Dongfeng 5B missiles cannot be maneuvered, if not launched, once the position is exposed, and the enemy's nuclear strike is a living target. This is undoubtedly, but the problem is that the missile silos protecting the Dongfeng 5B missiles are very strong. The entire missile silo exists vertically in the ground, the only exposed part is a missile silo cover. And this missile cover is either made of high-strength concrete or metal, and the thickness is also very exaggerated. This makes it impossible for conventional firepower to hit the missile silo and the Dongfeng 5B missiles in the silo. The only military force possible to strike a Dongfeng 5B missile is a nuclear strike. That's right, it would take another nuclear missile to destroy a missile silo and the Dongfeng 5B missiles in it. In other words, if a nuclear war breaks out between China and the US, the US wants to destroy the Chinese mainland's Dongfeng 5B missiles. China's Dongfeng 5B missiles can also do with the US nuclear missiles, one for one, and the Dongfeng 5B missiles may not only be able to in the United States nuclear missiles, one for one, because China can build a lot of missile silos not equipped with Dongfeng 5B. A country may have 300 ICBMs, but it can build 3,000 missile silos. While missile silos will cost more compared to missiles, the number of missile silos a country has is usually higher than the missiles themselves, in order to ensure that every missile is launched. Additionally, missiles, while less costly than missile silos, are more troublesome to build than missile silos due to a number of factors such as nuclear raw materials and power generation. After all, there are plenty of civil engineers and concrete for any country, but that country can't necessarily come up with that much uranium. Therefore, if there is a risk of nuclear war, a country can build a large number of missile silos as a camouflage. For example, the Soviet Union built more than 1,700 missile silos during the Cold War, and in the event of a nuclear war, the United States would have to use at least 1,700 nuclear missiles just to hit these silos. And there is also the possibility of the enemy using many of its own civilian facilities as missile silos. For example, in 2021, the U.S. media broke the news that China has built more than 100 new missile silos in Gansu. But these missile silos, as the U.S. media put it, are in fact the bases of China's wind power facilities. These wind power facilities are built in sparsely populated places. In a nuclear war, the United States really want to use nuclear missiles to strike these facilities. China is also earned. So missiles like the Dongfeng 5B, which require missile silo protection, actually have a not insignificant role in a nuclear war and would look very good on the battle damage ratio. Secondly, the Dongfeng 5B missile is capable of hitting in a nuclear war. China has currently built a fairly sophisticated anti-missile system that can quickly monitor rocket missile launches from other countries. When the U.S. launches a nuclear strike against China, the Chinese side will know as soon as the U.S. ICBM lifts off, and it will take about half an hour for the missile to take off from the U.S. mainland and strike the Chinese mainland. During this time, China can completely complete the launch of the Dongfeng 5B missile. So the Dongfeng 5B missile is not maneuverable, but it is usable in a nuclear war. And the Dongfeng 5B missile is also higher than the Dongfeng 41 missile in terms of performance indicators. In order to get enough maneuverability, the Dongfeng 41 missile needs to make the missile very light. So the total weight of this missile is just over 60 tons, compared to the total weight of the Dongfeng 5B missile, which is more than 180 tons almost three times that of the Dongfeng-41 missile, and the larger volume allows the Dongfeng-5B missile to hold more fuel and a larger nuclear warhead. That's why the Dongfeng-5B missile has more range and power. The maximum range of the Dongfeng-41 is about 14,000 kilometers, while the Dongfeng-5B missile can reach a maximum range of about 15,000 kilometers. In terms of warheads, 
The Dongfeng-41 missile has a warhead weight of 1.6 tons, which can hold one 1 million ton equivalent nuclear warhead or 10 100,000 ton equivalent guided warheads. The Dongfeng 5B missile has a warhead weight of at least 3 tons and can hold one nuclear warhead of 3 to 4 megatons yield, or 4 to 6 guided nuclear warheads. Finally, there is the question of what comes after a nuclear war. For nuclear war, the public has a misunderstanding that the war will be over after nuclear weapons are used, because a nuclear war can destroy human civilization. But in fact, with the current nuclear bomb holdings of mankind, a nuclear war cannot destroy human civilization and the war will still continue after both sides carry out nuclear strikes against each other. That is why in the field of nuclear war, there are concepts such as the first wave of nuclear strikes, nuclear counterattacks, the second wave of nuclear strikes, and the third wave of nuclear strikes. Really to fight a nuclear war, we will find that nuclear weapons in this kind of war is just conventional weapons, as long as you can get the advantage of war, that is also one to use. Whoever has more nuclear warheads and intercontinental missiles will have a greater advantage in the next war or in the negotiations between the two sides. If a nuclear war breaks out, how to keep as many nuclear weapons in hand as possible is a question worth considering. Therefore, in a nuclear war, missiles like the Dongfeng 5, which cannot be maneuvered, are used in the first wave. If these missiles are not used, they may be destroyed in the first wave of enemy nuclear strikes. After the Dongfeng 5 is used, the maneuverable missiles like Dongfeng-41 can be hidden. Knowing that the Dongfeng-5 series of missiles is far cheaper than the Dongfeng-41, it would be better for China to have all Dongfeng-5 missiles in service from a cost perspective. However, considering the fact that Dongfeng-5 missiles are not maneuverable and need to be shot out in one wave in a nuclear war, a mix of Dongfeng-41 and Dongfeng-5 missiles would be most effective.